Education is very, very expensive, not only here in Kenya or Africa, but uh, the whole world at large, I can say that, uh, I can say that uh, because even when you go to most developed countries, you'll find the same thing is happening. So I normally have this feeling that uh, some of these resources need to be free in a way that uh, people can be able to learn on their own, uh, for us to stop relying on schools and so forth. Uh, because at the end of the day, even those schools, they normally make us grow in one way or the other. But still, people need to have that opportunity to uh, advance their knowledge. Uh, even the guys who are in school, maybe campus, uh, like uh, university colleges and so forth, uh, they, they need to be, uh, they, they, they need to access these resources so that they can go ahead of their tutor. Uh, because in most cases, we normally say that uh, a tutor normally gives 20% or 25% like I uh, have been in the industry as a trainer in most uh, several colleges for the last now eight years and uh, I can say we normally give around 30 percent so it depends maybe your tutor maybe might need to give you more than that at least to give you that platform but most of the guys uh, they normally rely on uh, lecturers which is too bad uh, at least we need to make the resources available so that's why uh, I normally I'm um, doing this video least to share with you uh, some of the ways that are normally used to uh, come up with the notes that I might need maybe to prepare them myself for the lessons and uh, also um, uh, for the whole process of teaching how I normally prepare this content is you know that um, even books themselves they are very very expen expensive like uh, a college or university book that you might need to cost you maybe 4,000 Kenyan shillings, something like that, uh, which is very, very expensive, I can say. So generally, um, um, make sure you watch uh, until the end of this video so that you can get to know um, how you can get access to some of the resources like North, especially in the, this field of IT, and again, uh, past papers, because I used to experience the same, same thing. And uh, this is, will be a good video for the guys who normally learn on their own, like the Kathnep guys, and uh, for the next guys who normally, uh, like Unajifunza Wemonya, and at the end of the day, you want to go out there and register for an exams and to find your MTN. So this one can be a good thing for you. So uh, let's uh, start. And first of all, I, uh, I started this platform called Godstar, uh, where I normally share some of the resources, like for the ICT resources. <clears throat> it's free of charge. So you just need to click on this register, and you register. Then you make sure you activate your account. Your account. And once you activate your account, you click on the you log in and click on enroll. And as you can see here, we have got CICT. Uh, we have even DICT module one. These are NEC courses that have been training for the past eight years. And the content is free, so you just need to click enroll. And once you enroll, I'll be in a position now to approve your course. And once you approve your course, now you can start learning. So when you start learning, you'll be able to see the content here. The content is well organized uh, depending on the units. As you can see, this one is for the computer maths. And we have got a lot of resources here for the computer maths. So you just need to click maybe for one for the computer maths like this one. And uh, you'll be able to see all these. Then you can download them. Uh, videos, you'll be able also to watch some of the videos that are, are linked to this. So that uh, that is on reference. Uh, so that you can be able to learn more. Uh, and then you can get things like um, course outline, things like um, assignment and so forth. So might uh, sometimes you might miss to get uh, either assignments or courses in some of them, uh, just because I've not. It's quite a lot, uh, a, a lot of work that is involved here. So in most cases, uh, for the notes you'll be able to get them. So generally, um, this platform you can use it to access those notes. It's free of charge. I'm not going to charge you anything unless if you want either of these courses because i'm more focused on skill based if you might need maybe you might be interested with the python programming something like that uh, that one is the one that you're supposed to pay uh, that five thousand and uh, the starting part is um, starting amount is um, 60 percent of that which is very very cheap compared to any other institutions that are out there they normally change up to forty thousand like when you go things like uh, Moringa School and so forth, you find that they are very, very expensive. But um, because here we don't pay any building, any uh, any other resources, it's just my internet here and online platform that, that we use to train. 
so that's why I decided to make it a little bit cheaper for it to be accessible to anyone who is out there. Uh, at least ni kama kwa nilipia internet unalipa. So the next one, I also started a blog site that um, I started back in 20, like this post I did it when, uh, 2019. But this blog site I started back in 2015, some, some 2014. So here I normally share some content like uh, past papers and so forth. So you just need to click uh, this one or you can write Eric Obama's ICT notes on the search here. And uh, you'll be able to get the first link which you can just click and you get to this uh, link then you click on download and you'll be able to download a lot of stuff here there are even projects business plans and so forth that I normally share free of charge I don't charge you anything so you'll be able to access those ones it's it's just a matter of um, I've, I've, I've put them on this Google Drive as you can see so they are well organized like module 1 module 2 module 3 next Casnev, things like those ones you'll be able to learn a lot from now, apart from that, there is another site which I checked for latest, which is this new spot. And it is one of amazing sites. Uh, you just need to search like this one, and as you can see, this one are uh, past papers for NEC. So you can download them free of charge. And I want to say thank you to this guy. Uh, at least you've done a quite a good job, I can say. Uh, whoever is uh, managing this, uh, I can call it a blog site or something like that or website that provides resources free of charge uh, it's good you can continue doing that because you are helping a lot of people so generally here you can get a lot of past papers there are other uh, like this one it's a past paper for data communication and networks uh, for those guys who might not have a library that is well equipped you can get these resources and make use of it. There are other sites, like for example, this one is called eBooks Kenya. eBooks Kenya, you can get some of these NNE, uh, these past papers, but the problem is about downloading because you just need to scroll here. And as you can see, it's not only on the field of IT, but also in other areas like mechanical engineering, automotive, ETC. So it's a matter of just deciding which is your area. Then the problem you cannot download but there is a trick that I can show you. I don't. I hope they are not watching for this. <laughs> so what you normally do, you just uh, so long as you have a Mozilla on your on your computer, just click on this one. When you open it like this one, because you cannot print it, you cannot download the page, the paper. What you just need to do is um, uh, click on File, Save, or Control S, then Save. Then once you save, it will be saved. Already I did that, so it is saved on this folder called Funny something like that. So let me open the folder so that you can see how it looks like. Uh, so this is the folder, and as you can see, this the uh, the, 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 the the page that I the, the the unit that I want to download that's the PDF. So I just need to double click, and it is going to open up with uh, Mozilla Firefox. Make sure it opens up with uh, Mozilla Firefox because if it doesn't do that you'll not be able to do the process that I'm going to show you so this goes with the sites that are built on uh, using WordPress and uh, maybe the content is not uh, restricted in this case this is how you can do it so this can apply to this um, uh, the, uh, the ebooks Kenya it can also apply to this if you want to get content from this site called uh, like this one now and this one you can download only that it has got 18 pages uh, so this one you can get even the past papers page like those ones cast in the past papers you can click there uh, this site is uh, named as Masomo Singi, so you can download all of the past papers especially for cast name that's why I normally get some of them like for example if I can say cast name for what let me say CICT here or a TV or DICT I suppose to go for DICT anyway Whichever. So Masomo Msingi, you can do that. Uh, this is uh, Somea Kenya still. Uh, for the past papers for Casnet, sometimes people even, even sell these kind of papers, sorry. And um, you can get them free uh, free of charge from here uh, just by, by passing those words. Into. So as I said, you, you, you download, you just save the page. And once you save, you open it like that. And it will open like this. Uh, I don't know why it is taking too long. Yes, it has done that. So as you can see, it's file, see blah, 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 desktop and all that. So it's a matter of just, I want to access the the, 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 the PDF. 
and for you to access the PDFs, I can just need to click on. You can see this more information. You just need to click there, and you'll be able to see the the link here. So this link just copy the way it is, and you just paste it here. And once you paste it there, now you'll be able to see the PDF, and you can download it. That's how that's you know we change and to me sometimes to bypass this uh, WordPress website. You know I've been uh, uh, creating WordPress uh, website for quite some time, and I normally know how to work. So you can use this one as a, one of the backdoors that can help you to get access to this one. So as you can see, you are downloading for inbooks, and uh, although they are selling them, but <laughs> that is it. I hope they are not watching for this video. <laughs> so another thing, as you see now, I like this one. I want to go to this folder. 03. So you just delete this one and you press enter. This now will give, give you access to other papers as you can see this one. So you can download as much as you can from this site. Like you can have, uh, there is a cost of accounting, uh, something like that. When you click it, it's going to open like that, then download and make use of it. So that's how you normally do for such sites like ebooks, CICT, as you can see this one. Uh, this one provides you some of the papers free of charge like this CICT past papers PDF free downloads let me click that link and I'll be able to download this is um, uh, Somea Kenya Somea Kenya if you when you interact with them you'll be able to know how they normally work and you'll be able to download now uh, generally those were past papers and a little bit of uh, some content that you might need maybe as I said like notes and so forth but now there are some of the websites that I normally use in this field of IT uh, to come up with the content that I, I will use in, on the classroom because as you know that most not all the institutions that have got these textbooks like actually I've never seen any institution that will provide me with any of the high CT uh, books things like those ones maybe past paper we can you can get maybe two or three but when it comes to things like um, books it will be very very difficult like C++ books uh, operating system SAS things like this one it's very very difficult so um, for this one there is there are some of websites that I normally get like as you can see this one this website is called Java T point and it's one of one of amazing uh, websites that I normally use to uh, get content like for example you can see this one is C programming I can get even SQL uh, there is also like I'll go back here there is one that I was opening for operating system. I think it's going to open operating system. So this Java T it has got amazing content which is well organized. As you can see on the left -hand side here, uh, you will get amazing content that you can just copy paste. And there are good notes that you can give to a student directly, or maybe if you're a student, you just you don't need to bother about uh, the lecturers and notes and all that kind of kind of stuff. So this is where you can download them. Uh, that is uh, Java T net. The other site is a Study Tonight. A study Tonight is another site that gives a lot of uh, good, uh, very nice content. Like for example, you can see here there is um, this one is for operating system, and it's well organized like introduction, evolution of operating systems, type of operating systems. You can see the processing, scheduling things like those ones. We have got um, all the way to deadlocks and so forth, and the content is well, well, well organized as you can see. So this one was the for the operating system for the Java T, as you can see. Uh, sorry, uh, Java T. I wanted operating system. Let me go back. Uh, I think I should be able to see. So this one is for the study tonight, and you can see they have got a very nice content which is well organized, summarized, and 90% of this content when you cover uh, or when you when you go through it, uh, you don't need to be in any classroom so that you can. Get to understand maybe small explanation for some of the things that you might not understand, um, but uh, sometimes it's good to get to the classroom because it helps a lot. So study tonight and uh, Java T, they are good sites, and there is this other site called what? That was a study tonight. Now there is this another one which is called um, uh, Tutorials Point. Tutorials Point, they normally provide their content. You have to pay for that. As you can see by a PayPal, which is 99 point something 